everyone! I am going to be making this menu board for my new kitchen and I thought it would be really fun to share the process with you all. I found this wood at Michael's for $6. It's pretty much the perfect size. I was so happy I didn't have to go to Home Depot and cut any wood. This was just sitting in their wood section. I'm sure you can find whatever shape you want, but this works for what I'm going to be doing. I also picked up this Poly Shades Min Wax stain, and it is stain and polyurethane in one step. I love this. You don't have to buy two different things, just literally two coats of this and it will be ready to go. I also picked up a couple of acrylic paints. I just have this one in Robin's Egg Blue and another in Vanilla. Not quite sure what colors I'm going to be doing yet, but I thought this was a good mix. The next couple of things I picked up were these clothes pins, just in a light blue, a blush pink, and a darker blue. Love these colors together, so that will be fun. And then to glue on the clothes pins, I just picked up some Elmer's wood glue. So yeah, we'll see how this works out. I just want to mention that I am not a professional. I have stained before, yes, but I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing. I wanted to name this craft with me instead of DIY just because I feel like DIY means that I know what I'm doing and I'm trying to teach you. Whereas craft with me, I can kind of stumble along through it and we see how it turns out together. I looked everywhere for sandpaper and I just couldn't find it, but this is pretty smooth on its own so I don't need to sand it at all, I don't think. But if your wood is hard, obviously you need to sand it first. I also couldn't find my paint can opener, so let's see if a screwdriver works. Oh, yep, definitely worked. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna need something to stir this. We usually have a bucket full of just like things we use for painting, but couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm just using this sponge to stir the stain. Very high class here on my channel. <laughs> I'm going to be using this rag for the stain instead of painting it on. I don't really like the brush strokes that a paintbrush leaves on, so yeah, this gives more like a, I want to say organic finish. So I guess I'll just get started. Dip this bad boy in there and go with the grain. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be, which is nice. This stuff smells awful. <laughs> Might want to crack a window or something. Oh my goodness. Right now I have stain on all of it. I'm going to go back and add a little bit more and let it dry. Um, kind of all over my hands already. But hey, it's what I signed up for without buying rubber gloves. I love that like rustic shabby chic is in because it doesn't have to look perfect. Imperfections are kind of what make it look rustic and shabby chic. So kudos for whoever came up with that trend. Totally down for imperfections. And basically I'm going to let this dry. Then I'm going to add another coat. It is now much later in the day. I'm pretty sure six hours went by that this has been drying. I have these paint brushes, so I am just going to pencil menu, just freehand it right here, and then go over it with a paintbrush and some of my vanilla acrylic paint. Not quite sure how it will turn out, but I mean, I don't have any stencils or anything. My husband and I are in the middle of moving, so most of our stuff is in storage. So if you're like, wow, you're very unprepared, that's why all my stuff is in storage. I went ahead and nailed this to the back of my menu board so it can hang on the wall. And this is my finished product. I am super excited to be able to use this. I thought it turned out really fun. Excited to hang it. As far as how I'm going to be using this, I am going to write 
different dinners on like fun pieces of paper and then just clip them to here. I'll probably keep the paper in like a drawer or something so I can just go through and see what I have in there. And yeah, I'll just hook it there. I'm super excited with how this turned out. It was so fun to make. Super easy too. So there we have it. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Bye!